Welcome to Arconuco. So one of the things that happens when you live in the woods and you really don't have any fencing around you is that you get lots of critters coming in and eating all of your veggies. So when I came out today, I encountered what I can only describe as a murder scene. All of my zucchini was eaten except for one little baby plant and my corn started being eaten uh, and my pumpkin and even cucumbers and they're usually stay away from cucumbers and pumpkin because they've got the little kind of like furry or viney kind of leaves. Um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's very sad. So we'll take a look at that first and then I'll show you what I'm going to try out as a remedy since we don't have a fence yet. So this area yesterday was full of zucchini. Uh, you can tell because there's a little baby zucchini left right in the back and the zucchini all around this was actually very big. And you can actually see when I zoom in that you have two stalks right there that are missing leaves. And the entire thing, this is what happened. All those three were eaten and I moved down. All these two were eaten. This one was eaten. All those right there you can see that they've just been chopped off so very sad this is my zucchini and it's kind of gone now the critter also came and started eating my cucumber which is very weird they've never eaten my cucumber before you can see those leaves were eaten there and over here as well that leaf was eaten now it's important that the leaves don't get eaten so that the cucumbers can grow. That's how the plants make photosynthesis. Let's take a look at the corn. So when I came over, I noticed this corn is really high and I was so happy to see it. You'll notice that it's caged now because I am I got really mad and I wanted to preserve it. But when you come over this way, you'll notice that that corn was chopped off. Look at that. It was eaten and it should be that high. And even that one here, those leaves were eaten too. And when I come around, you can see that the pumpkin started being eaten as well. So pumpkin right there, chopped off. And I had like five or six corn plants here. These two are okay. Then this one was eaten down as well and those two so what can you do if your plants are being eaten and you don't have a fence well you can try putting some spicy and smelly herbs on them for example chili powder or cumin or hot peppers anything that you can to make it less tasty for them so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now so I finished watering my plants I'm gonna put this on top and obviously every time you water or every time it rains, you have to redouse your plant leaves with this so that they aren't eaten. So I'm gonna try that and cross my fingers, hoping that this works. So as you can see, I've put some cumin all around on top of the leaves and I've even created a little protective circle all around my plants here. So they look kind of yellowish or orange. So this is what they look like. I try to get every leaf if possible and then all around and this cumin is pretty powerful smelling um, as the wind is blowing I can get a strong whiff of it because remember animals have a more sensitive sense of smell. This raised bed of cucumbers got red chili peppers. It is really strong. I'm standing maybe like a foot or two away. I can smell that red chili powder everywhere. And so I put it all over the leaves and I've even gone around the bed a little bit. So if they're coming up near the dirt, it'll hit them first, even when they're just walking around near the dirt. Now, obviously I wanna coat as many of the leaves as possible so that they think twice about eating this in the future. Now I put ground cayenne pepper on this bed of corn, beans, and pumpkin. So what I'll do is see which one works best, cumin 
ground cayenne pepper or ground chili pepper. So I'm done powdering up my plants. I'm hoping that this works. It seriously looks like I did some spells on them actually <laughs> with the protection. Um, but um, this also works if you have fruit. So uh, things like strawberries and uh, if you have, you know, even things that grow underground, for example, your carrots, if they start eating the leaves, put them on that. Um, we do them on tulips because they love to eat the tulips early in the spring. So we spread it on the tulips and the tulips were saved this year. So that was good. The one thing that I would advise is if you do this and you can even do like uh, jalapenos cut up and spray them on your flowers with water. So if you do this, remember to wash your fruit and veggies before eating. Um, I won't name names, but I have a sibling who actually sprayed his plants with jalapeno spray. And then he just popped a strawberry in his mouth and he almost died. <laughs> so just be careful and wash your fruit and veggies thoroughly if you're going to use any hot and spicy sprays to prevent animals from eating them. So in the meantime, happy planting.